What's going on, everybody? Uh, spent the day out at, or the morning, probably just a couple hours, um, out at Lake Mike Connor in Collins, Mississippi. Uh, to me, it's not a big bass lake. I know there's some in there somewhere, um, but it's got quite a few small bass, a lot of, seems like a lot of bluegill, maybe some crappie. Um, I've only fished it a couple times, but I only had a couple hours I could fish this morning, and uh, I'm on call with my work, so I got to keep myself available. So uh, I was able to go catch a few. <clears throat> kind of strange because I caught them all on a topwater frog, and that's an open water lake. <clears throat> There's a little grass around the edges, but I had to work the frog real fast. Uh, tried to swim bait, I never could get nothing to hit it. And uh, I guess it just got so daggone hot that uh, that they just kind of backed off. It probably hit pretty good this afternoon, and the moon was pretty bright last night. Even though it's on the downside, it was still bright, and that may have had something to do with it. But usually you can go in there and catch a few bass. But we got four of them. Um, hey, some people that like to fish braid, and they keep braid on their rods, but there may be times where you're not getting bites with braid and you don't have fluorocarbon or monofilament on a reel, one thing you can do is tie a leader. Uh, just have you some 15, 20, 30, whatever you need, pound test, mono or fluorocarbon. I prefer fluorocarbon. Um, it don't fray up as bad. It's, it's pretty, uh, it does real well when it rubs up against stuff. But uh, let me show you um, how you can take that fluorocarbon or, or monofilament and put it to braid. I'm gonna be using two pieces of braid, so. It may be kind of hard to see, so let's let's just see what let's just see if you can see it. All right, tying the leader. Um, just say this is the this is one this is a line off the spool. This is a line off your reel. You wanna you wanna get you enough line to work with, and once you establish that, find the center, about the center of it. All right, just say the line off your coming from this way. You want to make a loop, but see how the line's running this way? You want to make that loop with the two lines back that way. And you want to wrap it through uh, four or five times, ever how many times you think you need. Uh, and just just wrap that leader that loose tag through through both lines in that loop and then you slowly pull it and you got that side done then take your tag on the other side you see it hanging down it's going this way so make your loop going right back that way give me this braid's hard to hold and then, then do the same thing. Run your tag around both lines in the loop. Every how many times you want to. And then just slowly pull it. See how nice and neat that is? Right, and then you can grab both ends. See, you got your knot here, your knot here, and just pull, and they'll meet. And there you have your leader to your braid and then just clip your uh, tag ends off. It won't break. You'll break the line before you break the knot. But that's how you do it. Um, I hope it was visible enough for you guys to see. Uh, so that way you don't have to take your braid off. You can put you about an 18 inch leader on there and you can go back to catching fish. You know, using that uh, leader uh, on the braid or vice versa, uh, I've seen that done on YouTube before, but I, it was so vague, I, I never did understand it. And my buddy out of Florida, uh, he's known as 187 Strike King on Fish Brain, I got him to send me a video of him doing it. And I'm here to tell you, that's, that's about as smooth as a way you can add a leader as they are now. It works real good, but uh, it's real simple. Just make sure whichever way your line's pointing, when you make your loop, you point your line back that direction again, wrap the wrap the tag through the loop around both pieces of line, and then just pull it together, and then do the other side, and then make your knots meet, and you're good to go. Hope y'all enjoy this video.
For Mike Connor, on the top water frog. Pretty. He ate it. Nice fish. All right, y'all. This old frog right here is called a mini bass. You see his eyes starting to lose their color. Of course, the whole thing losing its color. Anyway, just caught one on it in this open water. Uh, I don't think, think there's no pads on this lake because I'm just going to throw it up close to the edge of the bank Let it sit a second let the ripples clear and just Pop it three or four times pause pop it three or four times kind of basically not giving it much time to sit still I don't want to come up here and look at it too long. I want to make them hit it so And hope you know you can take the bigger frog and you can walk it, but I just I don't really see the point in walking it but anyway open water just keep it moving if you pause it do it for a split second there's a top water bass barely got him not bad not bad for this lake Poor, poor frog about had it. I think I have to get some more. Well, I got a bunch more, but I need to stock up. All right, that's two. But it surprised me they ain't hitting my swim bait. Come on. Good bass. Yeah, sorry about the camera work. I didn't know I had it. <laughs> it's another one on the frog. And Connor, not bad. Four on the frog. We can get him in. <laughs> He's caught. <laughs> Ooh, I'm about to retire this frog. Calm down. When they hit it in this open water, they freaking hit it. I don't think this lake's known for big bass. I, I think there's been a few caught out of it, but this is mostly what I see whenever they're busting shad. Nice little fella. Ate that frog. <laughs> <laughs> 